Most of the materials used in this video are available as a kit from Jameco Electronics. You know, with a bit of talented programming, a computer can generate some pretty amazing visuals for music. Long before people were playing their music from digital files, they were generating their own sound to light shows using something called light or color organs. These color organ circuits used main supply, AC electricity from the wall, to power incandescent bulbs in time to the music. But nowadays, we are lucky enough to have LEDs, which can be powered off of a much smaller and safer amount of DC electricity. I wanted to build my own LED color organ for a while now, and after a bit of searching online, I found Aaron Cake's design for a three-channel spectrum analyzer. This was close, but it was designed for a mixing console uh, to be used with LED bar graphs. But in any case, it served pretty well as a foundation for my simple color organ. I'll explain. At the heart of this project stands the multi-talented integrated circuit known as the Operational Amplifier. That's this guy right here, in case you're not familiar. An audio signal is connected to the first op amp, which amplifies the signal for the circuit's second stage. From there, the boosted signal is connected to three op amps, which are configured as bandpass filters. Each of these filters allows a different part of the audio spectrum to pass through. Relatively slow changes in the audio waveform will appear at the output of ICB. Fast fluctuations will be output from ICD, right about here. And the mid frequency band will pass through ICC's filter. From there, each output is conditioned, referenced to ground, and sent to the base of a transistor, which controls power to a group of four LEDs. Blue LEDs for the base, red LEDs for the mid-range, and yellow LEDs for the high end. Oh, and I almost forgot, one final op amp, known as IC2, outputs a reference point between our positive supply voltage and ground. It feeds this to all its buddies here to keep them properly aligned and well centered. To build it, I decided to use a rather large piece of perf board. If all goes well, I'll have space to duplicate the circuit and use them together as a two-channel stereo color organ. I used a paint marker to show my power and ground buses on top. This makes it a bit easier to plan the initial layout. Having multiple op amps on a single IC can get a little confusing, so I printed out a small label to keep track of each pin's connection. The fact that our three bandpass filters are so similar means we can arrange each of them in nearly the same way, which is a welcome time saver. It's kind of 
to see what you're doing when there's so much gleaming solder everywhere. This calls for a little backlighting. Ah, uh, much better. And quite a bit cooler looking. I decided to place header pins and jumpers between the LEDs and the rest of my circuit, which will allow me to use a separate off-board display in the future. That didn't take long. Actually, actually, it did take a while. I, it's military time. I was reading it wrong. But I've got a good feeling about this. Let's plug it in. Power for you. Oop. Little blinky. Signs of life. You get the audio too. Yeah, that's about it. So, uh, how about some music? are pretty bright. But you know what they say? Safety first. To get down with your own color organ, check out the LED color organ kit from jenko.com. <laughs>